Hi, welcome to PGE Park in Portland, Oregon. I'm Craig Johnson. I'm 35 years old, six foot three, 230 pounds. I'm the oldest of six children in a very sports-oriented family. We arrange from ages 16 to 35. I'm like a father to the three youngest, one of which is playing collegiate baseball in Los Angeles, the other which is on the 2011 watch list for baseball players in the state of Oregon. Up until a month ago, I was a consumer electronics representative. I repped everything from TVs and digital cameras to sports cards. While I wasn't doing that, I was creating, acting. Yes, that's right. I'm an actor and a filmmaker. My remote. You son of a Baseball's a way of life. It's the only thing I know. Look on mathematics. Game's over. Over the next few minutes, we're going to learn about two of my favorite topics, sports and myself. I'll also introduce you to two of my really good friends, James Ashley and Todd Robinson. But before we get to them, welcome to PG Park in Portland, Oregon, home of the San Diego Padres AAA affiliate Portland Beavers and the 2011 MLS entry Portland Timbers. I'm your host, Craig Johnson, and I'm a huge friggin' sports fan. I'm a fan of all sports, but if I had to say what I was a fan of and know, it's baseball, basketball, football, golf, soccer, and hockey. I've been involved with baseball for over 30 years of my life as a player or as a coach. I worked as a clubhouse attendant back when I was in high school. I worked for two years as a video scout for a major league baseball team. I've done freelance video for the last three years for the Portland Beavers. I produce scouting videos for amateur athletes who are looking to showcase their tools to scouts and other colleges. I know the sport all too well on all levels, majors, minors, independent, college, high school. It's one of those sports where it's kind of like the mob, you know, it's, you want to get away, but it keeps pulling you back in. In general, they're going to go for speed. They're going to make was running, good. Lots of run, um, lots of small ball. Yeah, and when you look at, I mean, you're you, you're gonna have to just manufacture. What's up there. with the uh, the pitcher that was gonna come back? Oh, Bedard, he's a free agent. No, 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 not not Bedard. Um, Basketball, I played a bit when I was younger. Um, coaches always put me at a five, even though I was better suited for a three. But I guess that's what happens when you're six foot three as a freshman. I've been an on and off follower of the game. Um, I really, I lost, I had a bit of taste that I that went away with the pro game kind of got on my nerves, just some of the players, some of the play, the, the style of the ball. Really started getting more respect for the college game. I love the craziness that happens in March. It's great to see a team like, like George Mason a few years ago that advanced as far as they did. That's what makes it so much fun. You don't know what's going to happen from one game to the next, and every game means something. My only thing with college basketball is I would like to see the freshman players play a little bit more past that year. Villanueva. <clears throat> Villanova and Georgetown. That's a rematch from 1983. Oh, steal. Big steal. My only experience with football was playing flag football back when I was younger. I played it for a couple years after high school. It was fun. I was a late bloomer on football. I had to write about it. I was an assistant sports editor for the high school newspaper. So what do you do? You have to learn about it. The last couple of years, I've been actually the host, producer, and videographer for high school football here in Oregon for MaxPreps.com. It's been a blast. I've been on the sideline, getting tons of action. And one thing is I've been getting clipped a few times, so I gotta watch it. I gotta, you know, pull myself back a little further off the sideline. Soccer, soccer's a funny thing. I hated the sport growing up, but about three years ago, I was asked by the Portland Timbers if I knew or if I knew anybody who wanted to be uh, the video director for a video webcast for USL Live. I thought about it. A few years later, I have a totally different opinion on the sport. Those guys are out there busting their asses, and it's a real fun sport to watch. If you're lucky like we are here in Portland, we have got a rabid fan base. They're effing crazy, but you know what? They make that experience even that much more fun. It's kind of like going to a uh, European soccer match in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> A lot of my love for sports obviously came from me wanting to be an athlete. During my time when I was younger, I wanted to be a sports reporter. So in doing that, I interviewed a ton of different athletes. Charles Barkley, Mark Grace to name a few. I ended up with over 20 interviews with a ton of different people in different sports. Uh, a Cy Young Award winner, a, tons of professional major league prospects, NBA and NFL first round draft picks. Good, that's what a nice big screen to share it. Frozen Lee. <laughs> I've been to a ton of different games all over the country, but my first real experience was back when I was in junior high. Uh, my dad took me out of school for the day and we drove north to Seattle. It was 1987, and we were going up to Seattle to see the Raiders play the Seahawks. 
Yes, it was that game. The game that Bo Jackson ran over Brian Bosworth. It was incredible. It was Monday Night Football. It was a great atmosphere. The fans were yelling, screaming, the fighting in the stands, the hatred for another team. And that's when it hit me. I hated those Raiders too. They were assholes. The fans, that is. Raider fan. From that moment on, going to games were no big deal for me. A lot of times, me and my buddy James ended up going to those games together. Back in 94, we drove down to San Francisco to see the 49ers play the Dallas Cowboys in the NFC Championship game. It was such a great experience being able to go to that game. Our Niners won. It was a great victory over Barry Switzer in his second season with the Cowboys. But no, I mean, it was great. We got to charge the field. We got to slap fives with the other fans. Even Steve Young. I mean, it was... You could not be in a better fan experience than that game. Just a month ago, James and I went down to Green Bay, Notre Dame, even Chicago, and we made a trip out of it. We went and saw the two stadiums in historic football era. You saw Notre Dame and you saw Lambeau Field. We had a blast. Notre Dame was an experience. And Green Bay, well, let's just put it this way. We didn't get to back to the hotel till the next morning. Oh, and dudes in Wisconsin, come on, man. get You, you got to step your game up. Craig from the West Coast comes out there and he's mopping the floor with your ladies. What's up with that? That doesn't even happen here. Yeah. A defensive did he, did he player. Did score a lot of touchdowns? Or? No, just just, sack just crap good. Sack just crap. damn good. Yeah. And he's from Grant. Well, Woodson, here. Woodson was a defensive player that won the Heisman, right? That's true, but he, he had kickoff returns. Oh, he had yeah. all those. Where have I gone during all my sports and all the games and all the places I've been to? Many a times James has been there with me, but let's just do a quick rundown. I've been to every ballpark west of the Mississippi, except for where the Astros play at Minute Maid Park. I've been to Old Yankee, I've been to Rundown Shea, Wrigley Field, fun. Uh, Comiskey, I mean, I'm sorry, excuse me, U.S. Cellular, The Cell. Uh, not to mention all the different minor league and college ballparks that I've been to. For football, obviously fresh off the list is Lambeau Field and Notre Dame. Candlestick Park, or uh, Monster Park. And, of course, the Kingdom up north in Seattle, which was demolished and turned into Quest Field. Also, James had season tickets for UCLA football, so when I make my L.A. trips, come down to Pasadena, go to the Rose Bowl. I've only been to a few different NBA arenas. Obviously, being a split season ticket holder with James for the Portland Trailblazers for the last two years, I've been there. Um, it's been a lot of fun being a fan, being an avid, rabid fan following that one team. Um, when we were younger, on the NFC Championship football game, that Niners-Cowboys game, we went down and we saw the Golden State Warriors play in Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, game went into overtime and the Warriors ended up uh, winning that game. And I, I swear to God we were the reasons the Warriors won that game that day. It was overtime and we're sitting there screaming, yelling, just doing whatever to make the Golden State Warriors pull off that victory. They won. We felt pretty good about it, but you know what? Those fans of Golden State, they're just sitting there on their hands doing nothing. Which is a great segue to what type of sports fan I am. I'm a pretty knowledgeable guy, but I'll tell you this much. I can't stand watching bad sports happen. I can't watch bad plays. I'm sitting there, I'm yelling, I'm screaming, I'm getting in the faces. And you know what makes me happier? When I see other fans doing the exact same thing. You know what I don't like? Is when I see umpires and referees making bad calls. I understand it's a human element, but guess what? It takes away from the game. And when you take it away from the game, you're taking time away from the game, and you're making the game more boring. Nothing irritates me more than watching that. But you know what? Me as a fan, my boys as fans, everybody else in the stadium as fans, that's what we're to do. We're there to voice our opinion, let them know if we agree or disagree, and that's how it is. So, yeah! I know you're going then, great, then who do you cheer for? Who are you rooting for? Well, I'll tell you who I cheer for. San Diego Padres in the National League, Boston Red Sox in the American League. When it comes to football, can't go with my Niners. And for basketball, okay, Portland Trailblazers, although I wasn't a fan for a few years there. Uh, for soccer, my Portland Timbers and your Portland Timbers. And on top of that, if you're going to go for the world, you can't go wrong with a little Chelsea action. You cannot deny that. And for my college team, Orange and Black's where it's at. Oregon State Beavers all the way. So there you go. That's who I'm yelling for. That's who I'm rooting for. And that's what I'm screaming about. If it fit. <laughs> hey, I'm James Ashley. So I've known this Craig Johnson dude for a long time. We go way back for sports and girls. 
for me, not for him. All right, so I have a pretty general good knowledge of sports, but Craig's a little bit fascinated with my knowledge of football. Because when I was younger, I was kind of a geek. I was bored, and I would sit around and learn stats and useless information. Who won Super Bowl IV? Super Bowl IV was the Chiefs 23, the Vikings 7. Super Bowl 16. Super Bowl 16 was the 49ers 26, the Cincinnati Bengals 21. Uh, I spell Cincinnati, you smart ass. Uh, I know about the Cincinnati bow tie. So I lived in LA for about six years. Went to the Second City Improv Olympic, did the whole sketch comedy thing. It was a blast. But I hung up my acting cleats for a few years, went into retirement, decided to run a lighting company for a while. But now I'm coming out of retirement and it's time to party. <laughs> So when I was younger, it was the three basics. It was football, basketball, baseball. That was what it was all about for me. I got older and I wasn't as good at that anymore. So it moved on to martial arts, got into Taekwondo, ran a couple marathons. And you know, it's about the individual sports now, but I still go and watch all the more gifted athletes play team sports. I'm a season ticket holder for the Blazers, go all over to watch football games. Yeah, I'm a sports geek. Gold Schlager, baby. Without the gold. <laughs> Hi, I'm Todd Robinson. I'm an actor, filmmaker, uh, lifelong sports nut and participator. Um, I've known Craig Johnson for uh, several years as an actor here in town. And uh, in the past two to three years, we've, uh, we've collaborated on some projects and become good friends. I'm, I'm that kind of guy, and Craig knows this because we've gone to some games together, I'm that guy that like, I just love to scream. I love to be in the room. I love to like, ah, I find the one guy that I'm gonna pick on for that whole game and I yell at him. I make sure, even if I'm in the back of the stadium, that guy's gonna hear me or I'll lose my voice, whichever comes first. I grew up about five minutes from Anaheim Stadium. So I went to probably 40, 50 Angels home games a year. Uh, went to some Rams games. Uh, by the second year we were going to the games, my brother and I were uh, scalping tickets out in the parking lot, and uh, you know we were just we just lived at the stadium. Uh, after a game, uh, we were collecting autographs afterwards, and Cal Ripken Jr. signed autographs for about a half hour, just and he missed the team bus, and uh, so my little brother walks up to him and he says, "Hey, Cal, uh, if you." we're going to the hotel my dad will give you a ride to the hotel and cal's like so your sons are volunteering you for a ride and my dad's like yeah sure cal get in so we took cal to the hotel uh he let us wear he let me wear his rookie of the year ring like he he didn't have to get in our car he didn't have to like let us hold his rookie of the year ring but that's and 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 i was just this poor broke kid from from santa Ana, california that like you know the, People had already been shunning me for years because we were poor kids, right? But now here's Cal Ripken Jr. in my dad's car letting me wear his Rookie of the Year ring. You think that didn't make an impression on a kid? Born and raised Trojan fan, so I still love the Trojans even though I live in Oregon and I have to hear about it every single day about how it's terrible to be a Trojan fan. I still wear my colors proudly. I, I've, been a, I've been a UFC fan since the very first one. I've got the first 21 on VHS tape. I, I, MMA, I, I train as a kickboxer. Uh, I, I, three days a week I train with a, a guy and, and I'm, so I'm, I'm really into that. I'm really into martial arts. I'm kind of like the wild card. I'm the guy who, I, 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 I watch all the crazy sports. I, I love MMA. I, I, I love to watch, I love to watch tennis. I like to get up on Sunday morning and, and watch Wimbledon. I, I, you know, I just, I, I like all these things. If I find something I like, even if I've never seen it before, I'll be that guy jumping in there like, yeah, swing that cricket bat, woo! You know, I, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time, but I'll get into it. I like that she's <laughs> kicking the carpet on the ground. Having yeah, it's carpet. like biting your pillow. I mean, what good that is that gonna be? Yeah. <laughs> well, could do somebody do that. That's it. true. I know I would make a great host for this show. I bring a great passion for sports and a ton of in front of camera experience. I also bring a couple buddies of mine that make the show that much more fun to watch. On that note, you've been watching the Craig Johnson Experience. It's been real. Take care.